Transit is the number one issue for voters with less than a month to the municipal election. That's according to two recent polls. So naturally, it made sense to have a transit debate tonight at the University of Scarborough, a debate where Tory wasn't present, giving other candidates a chance to speak up on their platforms. There was a big focus on free transit. It's going to collapse and the, you know, the ceilings are going to fall to the ground if we actually build free transit. I have the suspicion that if the people of the city actually start saying, no, 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 free transit, that doesn't sound, you know, over 100 cities around the world have piloted some form of public, free public transit. Why not us? And if that, that, I, thank you. Tonight. Then we'll be hearing a, probably a different message around free transit. We need to talk about it. And uh, I, I agree. If tomorrow we said transit was free, we'd be in big, big trouble if we did that tomorrow. But if we said that that's a goal for our city, now that is something to work towards. It was two against one as Keysmat doesn't agree with free. We've been talking about the fair, fair plan, which has been the delivery of which has been incremental and bungled under Mr. Tory. And the opportunity is us to take the fair, fair plan that has been generated as a part of our poverty reduction strategy, working in collaboration with low income communities across the city, and we can deliver the fair, fair plan. And by delivering that plan, we'll ensure that everyone in this city has access to excellent transit. A forum research poll shows nearly 70% of those surveyed said they have concerns about public transit in Toronto. The poll found 31% said not enough subway lines is their biggest concern, while 29% listed overcrowding as their top worry. A Main Street research poll found that transit has replaced housing affordability as the top issue. That poll also showing incumbent Mayor John Tory with nearly 64% support among decided voters. His main rival, Jennifer Keysmat, has close to 31% support. But Tory wasn't at the debate tonight. We reached out to Tory's campaign to ask why he wasn't present. We got this statement in part starting on August 26. Our campaign indicated that the mayor was not available on the date proposed. This was communicated by phone. The campaign proposed alternate dates. We also raised the issue of including additional candidates. Neither was acknowledged by the debate organizers. The mayor was at a fundraiser in Etobicoke tonight and also a tech reception as part of the Elevate conference downtown. His absence was definitely noticed by those on stage and in the audience. TTC Riders is calling for free transit for people who receive OW and ODSP and lower fares for all. We also want more investment in the TTC for better service. So we want to see both happen in our city. And to do that, we need better investment in the TTC and an increase to the operating subsidy. So we asked question, um, candidates about that tonight. We're disappointed that we weren't able to ask Mayor Tory about his position on that and his position on the subway upload and the other questions. The Tory campaign says that even though Tory wasn't at tonight's debate, it doesn't mean he won't be sharing his transit plans at upcoming debates.